Once it was the third richest salmon fishery on the West Coast, but four dams on the Klamath River put an end to that. This is all going to change dramatically as those dams will now be pulled out and not everybody is happy about it. The largest dam removal project in United States history is currently underway along the California-Oregon border, targeting four dams situated on the Klamath River. This ambitious endeavor marks a significant step towards restoring the natural flow of this vital waterway and revitalizing its ecosystems. The initial phase of the project has already commenced with the removal of the smallest dam, showcasing a commitment to its successful execution. Over the next year, the focus will shift to the removal of the remaining three dams, marking a monumental transformation for the Klamath River. This project aligns with a broader nationwide trend aimed at dismantling dams that obstruct the natural course of rivers and streams. Such removals have gained momentum due to their ecological, environmental, and societal benefits. Key aspects to consider as this project unfolds. Ecological restoration. Removing these dams will enable the Klamath River to regain its natural flow, providing critical habitat restoration for numerous aquatic species, including salmon and steelhead trout. This effort supports biodiversity and the recovery of endangered species. Water quality and health. The project will improve water quality by allowing sediments and nutrients to flow freely, benefiting not only wildlife, but also the communities that rely on the river for drinking water, recreation, and agriculture. Tribal sovereignty. Native American tribes, particularly the Yurok and Karuk tribes, have deep cultural and spiritual connections to the Klamath River. Dam removal honors tribal sovereignty and cultural heritage, while fostering collaborative efforts among stakeholders. Climate resilience. By restoring river systems, dam removal contributes to climate resilience by enhancing ecosystems that can better withstand extreme weather events and maintain healthy, functioning landscapes. The Klamath River Dam Removal Project stands as a remarkable example of how collective efforts can rejuvenate ecosystems, support indigenous communities, and contribute to a more sustainable and resilient future for both nature and society in the United States. The dams targeted for removal along the California-Oregon border have a story history dating back decades when they were initially constructed to generate electricity. While they served an important purpose in power generation, they also had unintended consequences, disrupting the natural flow of the Klamath River and severely impacting the life cycle of salmon which holds immense cultural and spiritual significance for several Native American tribes in the region. One of the pivotal moments in the drive for dam removal occurred in 2002, when a confluence of factors, including low water levels and elevated temperatures, triggered a devastating bacterial outbreak that led to the tragic death of more than 34,000 fish. This catastrophe galvanized the Native American tribes in the area to advocate vigorously for the removal of these dams. After years of negotiation and collaboration between various stakeholders, federal regulators approved a comprehensive plan in the previous year to facilitate the removal of these dams. In a significant development, Pacificorp, the company that operated the dams, transferred ownership to a non-profit entity that would oversee and manage the intricate project. So when can we expect these dams to be removed? Work on the removal of the smallest of the four dams, known as Kako, has already commenced. This initial phase serves as a promising start, demonstrating the commitment to seeing this project through to fruition. However, the removal of the other three dams, which are considerably larger in scale, will be a more complex and time-consuming endeavor. The timeline for removing these larger dams is set to begin in January. A meticulously planned and executed process will be undertaken, aiming to complete the removal by the end of 2024. This extended timeline reflects the substantial challenges posed by these dams' size and structural complexity, as well as the need for meticulous care to ensure the surrounding ecosystems and communities are minimally disrupted. The decision to remove these dams is not merely a matter of dismantling concrete structures. It represents a profound commitment to restoring the natural balance of the Klamath River, rectifying the ecological harm that has occurred over many decades. The restoration of this vital waterway will have far-reaching benefits, including the revitalization of salmon populations, which are not only economically important but hold deep cultural and spiritual significance for the Native American tribes in the region. Moreover, dam removal will contribute to the improvement of water quality along the Klamath River, as sediments and nutrients will once again flow freely, 
This enhancement will not only benefit the aquatic ecosystems, but also the communities that rely on the river for various purposes, including drinking water, recreation, and agriculture. The removal of these dams is not just an environmental issue. It is a matter of social justice and tribal sovereignty. Native American tribes, particularly the Yurok and Karuk tribes, have strong connections to the Klamath River. Their cultural and spiritual ties to the river and its salmon have been profoundly affected by the dam's presence. The removal of the dams acknowledges and respects tribal sovereignty and represents a significant step towards reconciliation and cooperation among all stakeholders. Furthermore, the project aligns with the broader goal of climate resilience. Restoring natural river systems contributes to the resilience of ecosystems that can better withstand extreme weather events and maintain their functionality even in the face of changing climate patterns. The removal of the four dams on the Klamath River is a monumental undertaking that holds great promise for the environment, Native American tribes, and the surrounding communities. While the process will be arduous and time-consuming, it represents a commitment to healing and restoring a vital natural resource. By the end of 2024, we can anticipate the successful completion of this historic project marking a significant milestone in the restoration of the Klamath River and its ecosystems. The process of removing the four dams along the Klamath River will involve several steps. It won't be a single explosive event, but rather a gradual, carefully managed process. Firstly, in the upcoming spring, workers will start by slowly draining the reservoirs behind the dams. This is a crucial initial step to lower the water levels behind the dams and prepare the area for further work. Once the reservoirs are sufficiently drained, specialized crews will begin dismantling the dams. Heavy machinery, like excavators and cranes, will be used to carefully deconstruct the concrete structures. In some cases, small explosives may be used to assist in the controlled removal of certain dam components. In addition to demolition, there's an essential aspect of restoring the natural environment. Efforts will be made to return the area to its pre-dam conditions. This means recreating the natural habitat and ecological balance before the dams were built. Restoration work may include planting native vegetation, re-establishing natural river flow patterns, and ensuring the health of aquatic ecosystems. Native American tribes have been actively involved in this restoration effort, collecting seeds of native plants by hand over years. These seeds have been sent to nurseries for cultivation, resulting in more seeds for planting along the riverbanks. Native American communities, and the broader public. The budget, along with the contingency fund, is designed to ensure that the project proceeds smoothly, addressing any unforeseen challenges that may arise during the removal and restoration process. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you found this journey as intriguing as a river's meandering course, remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and drop your thoughts in the comments below.